Hello, this is Tim Law with Plain and Forward Coaching and Self-Reliant You. Always remember your life, your goals, your dreams, and your career are all essential. A big thank you to over 400 people that have uh, subscribed to this channel, Plain and Forward Coaching. If you haven't already, please do so. Also remember, whatever your mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. I'm very, very happy to have a guy here that I actually just met this past spring as he was working with the Northeastern uh, baseball team. And I just kept hearing his name in many, many good ways and his uh, baseball knowledge, et cetera, and how he dealt with the kids, uh, Mr. Uh, Manny Vasquez. And uh, welcome, sir. Tell us your story. Thank you so much, Tim, for having me. So uh, um, how did you get started as far as baseball was concerned or your uh, coaching, that kind of thing? Well, coaching started with, uh, uh, you know, we played baseball for many years, uh, uh, ran through many different coaches and, and role model, like you said earlier to me. Um, the, I learned so many different things and, and, and knowledge that you get from baseball pitching, you know, all that kind of mm -hmm. positions and stuff like that. But pitching is where uh, I most uh, uh, like to help the kid. I, I can help him in anything, but, you know, pitching is the, uh, the number one goal, you know? Sure. And, uh, uh, so I always say, you know, I always talk to my wife and I say, you know, what am I doing with all this knowledge and all the stuff that I learned? What am I going to do? Am I just going to die and take it with me and not do anything? I don't think it's fair, you know? So she always, well, well, you, you, you should use it. You should teach it. You should pass it on and stuff like that. So uh, one day uh, she's like, you should get your, uh, uh, your clearances and, and try mm -hmm. to get the, uh, uh, you know, some coaching. Uh, so to coach somewhere and we did it and then here we are here we are here in northeastern yeah how did now how did how did you happen to select or pick uh, northeastern we're glad you did and how did that happen well uh, my wife and you know she's she she uh, uh my stepson you know his, his name is nick shower he goes with me to the games and the uh, practice and all that. All the kids in the high school team, they know him. Mm -hmm. uh, he belongs to Northeastern. Okay. Uh, so why not just stay where the family is, you know? So sure, sure. Just decided to give it a shot here in Northeastern and it went pretty well. And then that's where we at. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you work uh, pretty closely with uh, Coach uh, Danny Deardorf. I did an interview on him uh, several months ago and uh, Jonah Latchaw, uh, you know, a number of different people there. How, uh, what, what, what's your thoughts as far as Coach Deardorf and uh, Jonah there? Well, Coach Jonah, <coughs> excuse me, um, having too much uh, direct uh, uh, contact with him and coaching and stuff like that, because I was most likely helping both of the teams. So uh, whoever was home, that's what I was going to be. That's, you know, that's what I was and uh, uh, practice all the time. So in practice, we have to interact a lot. I know he's, a, uh, as a person so far, you know, he seems a, a really great guy. Um, as a coach, he has a lot of knowledge, also, you know, knowledge also to, to, to bring to the plate. Uh, coach Deardorf, Coach Danny, uh, I think he's, he's a great guy. Uh, he has a lot of knowledge too. Uh, he has a lot of knowledge in the new baseball, you know, the new baseball coming up that I might still a little new myself, you know, still new for myself as well. So uh, uh, a lot to learn from him and, and, and looking forward to it. Sure. Well, and, and just like yourself, you know, Danny was a, you know, a very accomplished pitcher at Northeastern. I believe he played also collegiately at uh, West Virginia University, if I, my memory serves me right. Um, and, uh, uh, so I'm sure you two kind of talk back and forth as far as, you know, the pitching game a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, um, we do, we, we, uh, 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 you know, we talk a lot about it before games and practice, what we're going to do. Sometimes we text, you know, just trying to keep in the same page. And then again, like I said, you know, uh, I learned from him and maybe he will learn from me a little bit. And then just together, we, you know, we're a team, right? So yeah. we, we take it together. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, you had some pretty good pitchers on there. I know Nate Toomey was uh, was one of your guys that uh, you know had a pretty good year and everything. What can you tell us a little bit about Nate? Uh, well, first thing I have to say about him is that he's a very hardworking man. He uh, uh, he likes his baseball, and he's very dedicated. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Uh, I got a, a good relationship with his with his uh, uh, with his father, uh, showing to me and uh, uh, always asking, "Hey, how is uh, 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 Nate doing? Or, or what is he doing today?" And he always at the gym. He's always uh, uh, doing bullpen. He's always practicing. He's always trying to get better, you know. And uh, I always say, if you want to be like everybody else, then you work your hundred percent. You want to be better than the than the regular and average. We had to give that little extra percent. So he does work his one hundred and ten percent every day. I, I've seen that with my own eyes. So that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. No, he's uh, he certainly is. Is uh, you know, I, I, I've seen him pitch some, and he's he's very very impressive. That's for sure. Who else, mm-hmm. uh, as far as some of the other guys uh, that that you were involved with on the team this past year, coach, uh, were uh, kind of stood out in your mind? Um. It's, 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 it's a bunch of good kids in there. You know, it's, it's a, a personal a little bit that, that we got to know each other during the fall uh, and coming to the spring and then, you know, to the end of the season. Uh, a lot of talent, to be honest with you. Uh, top of my head, Quinn. Uh, uh, Quinn is a, is, a, is a really good uh, uh, guy, good attitude, uh, very hungry to learn. Mm-hmm. And that's always a, a plus uh good arm and and he's still young so he's, he's a lot of, a lot of plays and room to to learn and get better so I, I think he has a lot of potential um and pitching wise uh we have uh Eric Velez um, um I also I'm working with him I, I do clinics uh outside during, during the summertime mm-hmm. and then he's one of the the students let, let's say like that and then we're working on all his mechanics and uh, uh, working in body fundamentals and stuff like that, getting his speed also ongoing. And he be, he can be a big surprise. He can be a big surprise. He's a, a very talented, uh, very strong, mm-hmm. uh, very a really good arm. And he's also hungry to learn. You know, he, he listens well and he's very easy to coach. So... We have several like that. I know we have a team. You know, we have two teams. We have sure. 30, 32 players, you know. But mm-hmm. at the top of my head, go like that, you know, so. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. What – um, now, where did where did you learn your uh, baseball skills, Coach? Well, um, uh, I'm from Puerto Rico. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, we uh, – uh, baseball is, is a big thing back home. And uh, we play baseball – you know, I remember I started, I don't remember, I don't even remember when I started playing, but I do remember my mom saying, you were three years old when you started playing uh, uh, baseball. It's little league, it's called diapers. You know, that's how, what they call it. And I was playing, I guess, diaper league for, for many years. I played since three all the way to five when I went to, to the, you know, the regular five and seven little league uh, age. And then I played all my life, you know, I played, I played since I was three until my last year I played professional. I was, it was in 2010. Yeah. So, you know, it, it has been a long time. And where did, where did you play uh, professionally? I dropped with Detroit Tigers, okay. played with them to double A. Then I got traded uh, uh, to the Phillies organization, uh, played with them for a few years. And then I ended up getting hurt, uh, Tommy Young surgery. Came back, tried to keep and stay in, uh, in the organization of the MOB, but end up getting uh, released. So I stopped playing independent. Yeah, yeah. Well, and obviously, any any level you make, you know, single A, double A, triple A, uh, obviously you had to be a very, very good, solid baseball player to make any of those uh, leaps. That's for sure. What, um, coach? What What are some of the things that that um, some best advice you would give to uh, some of these up and comer? Uh, kids, whether it's baseball or whatever sport, uh, band, music, extracurricular things are involved with. What, what's, what type of advice would you give to some of the young guys? Well, it's it's, it's one it's one big thing that I always uh, I always uh, uh, somebody one of the role models from back in the day was just a neighbor a neighbor that used to be coached because his kid played baseball, so he coaches him, and then. Uh, uh, he always used to remark many times the discipline and the attitude, you know. Mm-hmm. And and when I was young, I remember sometimes getting upset and and things didn't went my way, and then you get mad and you get in trouble, you know. And then getting older, I, I learned to listen, and then you know, and 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 have the right attitude, you know. Like I was I was uh, uh, 
one of the, the players, one of the kids that I'm helping with the pitching and stuff like that is my stepson, you know, Nick, right? My, one of my boys. And uh, um, he, he got upset, little teary, because he wanted to do it right and it's keep coming wrong. And I said, well, we can all get upset, you know, because when we get upset, it gets in your head and then we lose focus. Mm -hmm. You know, our attitude should be, okay, I'm doing it wrong. Let's get up. Let's do it again. And we're going to do it right. He, it, was, it was cute. It was very impressive. You know, he tear up, he cleaned up his tears and he said, okay, I'm going to do it right. After that, he ended up doing it right, you know? So it's always keeping the positive attitude is, is what it matters. You know, we strike out today or we struck out now. Just remember, you strike out, you have an external bat. That's the one that count. The one that you strike out, just forget about it. We cannot carry it to the, to the future because of the present because we're just going to continue to do the same pattern. Just... Take it as a new opportunity to hit the ball, you know? Mm -hmm. Sure, it's Like sure. Babe Ruth used to say. Babe Ruth used to say, uh, uh, another strikeout is getting me closer for my next home run, you know? Yeah. So. Very true, yeah. Well, yeah. and having that short memory, I don't care what sport you're involved with, you know, you can't dwell on, you want to learn from some errors or whatever, but like I say, you can't let yourself, your attitude drop and, and uh, you know, get real low uh, because like I say, then you're, the, the likelihood of you having – uh, an unsatisfactory result going ahead, you know, goes way up if you can't get your, you know, your head on straight and your attitude right. That's for sure. Totally agree. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who are some of your role models, coach? Well, uh, uh, my dad is the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's, that's my man, you know, that's, that's uh, uh, the guy that, that when uh, baseball become breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, <laughs> Uh, he was the one that was there and did everything he, he could. Like he, he left his own hobbies and he, his own uh, uh, likes to, to, to the side to push me and, and keep me going, you know? Sure. And then of course it was to a certain age that he could do that. So by the time when I was 13 is uh, uh, this uh, special person in Puerto Rico, his name is Eddie Santiago. Uh, he used to be a, a, a uh, scout number one in Puerto Rico for the uh, uh, San Luis Cardinals. Um, he got, I got under his wings and, and uh, uh, when I was 13, 14, 15, 16, all the way until I was 18. Uh, but somewhere between 16 and 18, uh, I did a couple of showcases mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, in the main line over here. And uh, 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 Somebody saw me, and then uh, that person was trying to help me out. Could it be an agent yet? Because I was under age, I was still in sure. high school, so I was an advisor. Um, Adam Bitterman from uh, uh, California. He's the one that got me with Tom House, mm -hmm. with Mr. Tom House. I don't know if you heard him, but you can you know Google him, YouTube, everything. Mm -hmm. He's all over the place, all over sure. the media. Uh, he was a uh, 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 John Rocker, uh, personal pitching coach. Randy Johnson, personal pitching coach. Uh, wow, he was wow. uh, Nolan Ryan, personal pitching coach. I mean, I can keep going and going. And yeah. Going. Well, if he if he uh, if he helped Ryan and uh, Johnson, I mean, those those are some pretty big names. And and uh, you know, Mike Pryor. You know, I, I I got to do bullpen right beside Randy Johnson. Wow. Not because I did that, but Randy Johnson, since I'm a little kid, I remember he since he, he since he was in the athletics. Mm -hmm. He was my, I was like, I, I, I love this guy. I mean, yeah. it was my first picture I saw throwing 90, 99 miles an hour, <laughs> you know, uh, on TV. And when I got it to see it right beside it, I remember that was in San Diego. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I saw, I did a bullpen beside him. And I mean, one of the most impressive thing I ever seen in my life in baseball, it was seeing him right beside him, right sure. beside me throwing a bullpen. Yeah. Yeah. That had to be very, very cool. Um, uh, coach, this has been fantastic. Um, any, uh, Please stay on for a minute or two after we uh, stop the recording. Any last second thoughts or anything you'd like to add here before we close it up here? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's, uh, uh, I love, it was my first year in uh, uh, Northeastern with the Bobcats and being the Bobcat family. Um, I just, I hope I can be helpful, you know, to, to not just to the team. It's like I always say, you know, uh, I always talk to my wife and I say, you know, I always had a dream and just go somewhere and help out mm -hmm. baseball. And not only baseball, you know, because, you know, it, it's, 
I love Pinterest, and Pinterest had a little quote that said that uh, a coach will impact more young life than anybody else and in, in, that you can see or, mm -hmm. or know, you know? And then sometime I think as a, an athlete go, as a, you know, a sportsman, uh, you know, all my coach had imprinted something in my head that it always has stayed in my life. And I always, it always will, you know? Sure, sure. And, you know, I would like to do that. I would like to do that with these uh, uh, amazing young kids coming up. And then not only in the high school, I really, I was still her, that I, I don't want to just do a team, you know, I'm, I, I can promise, oh, we're going to make a, uh, a championship team. I can do that because I, it's impossible to do that. Right. But yes, I would like to contribute to do a great uh, baseball program mm -hmm. in, here in, 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 uh, in Northeastern because I also coach Little League. Mm -hmm. And then some of the kids didn't know that we have a high school baseball team. You know, wow. we have a football high school team, but we don't know that we have a baseball. So I would like to get that in, you know, out there. I want to get the little kids know there is big kids that they can see as a role models. And also it's the big kids, it's little kids out there that they can be their role models and help them. Sure. So I would like to, in the future, you know, little by little all together, build up an amazing uh, uh, baseball program, not a team, just a, pro, a big program that yes. we can help everybody. Yeah, totally agree. No, I, that, that's great thoughts, great advice, Coach. And uh, uh, this has been fantastic. I appreciate uh, your time very much. Please stick around for when I uh, stop the recording, okay? But thank you Absolutely. so much. Yeah, have a good one, everyone.